Hello friends! In today's tutorial we are going to learn how to add dodge and evade movements to our fighting game, created in Unreal Engine 5 with the help of the True Fighting Game Engine. Let me remind the True Fighting Game Engine is my project for Unreal Engine that allows you create your own AAA class fighting games. You can easily add attacks, combos and hit animations, import characters based on any skeletons and create either single player or multiplayer fighting games. You can check out my other tutorials in this playlist to learn how to do all of this. And with the true fighting game engine you can create either Mortal Kombat style or Tekken style games depending on your needs. You can find the link to the project in the description below this video. Alright, so for the sake of this tutorial I am going to use this package named Dodge and Evade Enims. And first of all let's go to the Enimsic folder and we have the animations for the UE4 skeleton here. Let's select them all and first of all let's replace skeleton to our default true FG mannequin UE4 skeleton and it is this one located in the game true FG demo mannequin UE4 let's select it right let's save all now let's create a new folder here and name it anim seek underscore ue5 all right and let's retarget all the animations from the ue4 skeleton to ue5 we are going to select this skm queen from our default to fg and we disable the auto generate retargeter and we select this retargeter manually and let's target all the dodge animations let's export animations and as a suffix let's add underscore UE5 to our animation name and as the target folder let's select the folder that we have just created animseek UE5 oh yes right and we have them all retargeted now let's create montages from these animations let's create a new folder and name it montages let's select all the animations let's select all the animations right click and create create anim montage and we have created montages and let's just move them to the montages folder move here just for clarity all right and let's save all now great now let me start the game to show you how it does it work by default so when we press any of our control any of our directional controls like back left right or forward dodge placeholders are being called by default and our goal now is replace these placeholders to our actual dodge animations and it is really easy let's open our content drawer and navigate to true fg blueprints and let's select the character blueprint for the character 
that we are setting the Dodge animations for. In this case it is BP through FGE base character based on the UE5 queen. Alright, and we select the root component at the left in the components tab and at the right in the details tab let's search for Dodge and we see here our four place placeholder montages and now we are simply going to replace them with the actual Dodge animations so for the Dodge back I'm going to use this one cartwheel back for the Dutch forward I'm going to use this one or the Dodge left I'm going to use this one it is pretty funny and the last one for the dodge right I'm going to use the cart wheel as well all right and now let's compile the blueprint and let's save it and let's run the game once again and now let's check and yes it was that easy we have set up all the dodge animations for our unreal engine fighting game made with the help of the true fighting game engine yes that's it and you can set the dodge animations for any character in your game in, you, in the same way. For example, if you want to set it for another skeleton, like this UE4 fighter character, you will do the same. You will just create animation montages for all the UE4 animations and then We'll just set the dodge animations inside the blueprint. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.